<clears throat> All right, we just looked at some pages in your textbook. Let's recap. One thing we talked about is what lipids are made of as opposed to carbohydrates. In carbohydrates, we saw a ratio of atoms of approximately 1 to 2 to 1. Uh, lipids, was that 1 to 2 to 1? Not hardly. Although there was CH and O, uh, the C and H was approximately 1 to 2, but what about the O? Very little O compared to C and H. Very little O compared to C and H. And then we saw that lipid molecules, fat and oil molecules in particular, have a head-tail structure. A head that's some CH and O atoms, and a tail that's pretty much a what? A chain of carbon atoms with hydrogen atoms attached. And so, that is the basic structure of a lipid molecule. Then we looked at some other pictures about saturated and unsaturated lipids. We saw that had to do with the tails. The presence or absence of what? A double bond. You're right. Let's recap that and let's take it a few notches further. So, saturated. Saturated. Um, I'm going to put saturated up here and compare that to unsaturated. And again, it has to do with the fatty acid tails, saturated or unsaturated. And so we can diagram a section of a tail of a saturated lipid like this, like something we had up here before. And so what does this represent again? A bunch of carbon atoms and a bunch of hydrogen atoms combined kind of like this. And uh, if you were to draw this on your test, you'd make those all capital letters, would you not? Absolutely you would. And so what's the main deal with a saturated lipid, a saturated fatty acid tail? There are no what? There are no double bonds. So take this carbon atom, for example. Could we possibly add any more hydrogen atoms to that carbon atom? No, it's booked up. We say that carbon atom, in fact, is all the carbon atoms, are saturated with hydrogen. Not one more hydrogen atom could possibly be added. Saturated with hydrogen, no more hydrogen atoms could possibly be added. Now, an unsaturated lipid, a little bit different picture. We've got a double bond there someplace. And, uh, and so, let's uh, see what difference that will make. Let's start right here. Uh, that's kind of normally the way things are. And I kind of put that on there kind of prematurely. So let's take a look at this carbon now. We've got a double bond right in here between these two carbon atoms. This carbon atom, the way I've drawn it here, has how many bonds to neighboring atoms? A whopping one, two, three. Is that right? How many more can it have? I think one more. And so only one hydrogen atom can be attached. Same thing here. Only one hydrogen atom can be attached. And uh, then we're back to uh, two hydrogen atoms. And so let's look at this situation with this. What's this called again? A double bond. Yes. Now, can any more hydrogen atoms be added to this carbon? Well, not the way it is right now, but don't change, you know, you know, if you're drawing this, you don't have to change your diagram. But what if we took off that bond right there? Could more hydrogen atoms now be attached? Yes. Can chemistry labs do that? Yes. Can cells do that? Yes. And so, there is a possible, I'm going to put it back the way it was, but there is a possible way that more hydrogen atoms could be added to these carbon atoms. And so we say these carbon atoms are unsaturated with hydrogen atoms. In other words, more hydrogen atoms could possibly be added. More hydrogen atoms could be added. Well, we already saw what that does to the tail. What kind of tails we got here, straight or crooked? Well, those are the straight tails, yes. What does the, what does the uh, double bond do to a tail? A fatty acid tail, it puts a kink, makes it crooked. So we can kind of represent, we can kind of represent a saturated lipid 
And like the picture I had before, I'm representing, I'm attempting to represent three very straight tails. No what? No double bonds. And so an unsaturated lipid, at least one of the tails has at least one double bond. So I'm going to kind of draw this with a couple of crooked tails, like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And what puts the kink in the tail again? Well, of course, it is a double bond like that. There'd be a double bond here and a double bond here. Well, that has an effect on something that we talked about earlier when we talked about uh, why something floats on something else. It had to do with a something called what? Density. And so, uh, this configuration, straight tails or crooked tails, affects the density of the resulting lipid. In which case can the molecules fit together and the closer and the substance be more dense? Would these molecules fit closer together or these molecules? Well, I think these would fit closer together, right? This would be kind of like a bunch of people in an elevator with their arms at their sides. And this would be like people in an elevator with their elbows stuck out. See, I get my elbow in the picture there. Get their elbows stuck out. You couldn't fit as many people. They'd be spread out and less dense. So this up here, we'd say, would tend to be more dense. This down here would tend to be less dense. And, uh, that, and one of these, therefore, tends to be a liquid at room temperature and one tends to be a solid at room temperature. Which one is going to be which? Well, generally, which are more dense, liquids or solids? Solids are generally, so this, these, un, these saturated lipids tend to be solids at room temperature, as opposed to these that tend to be liquids. And this affects what kind of uh, bottle they come into the grocery store or container and where you go in the grocery store to buy them. One of these is commonly called fats, one's commonly called oils. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about, fats and oils. Which one's the fat? Well, uh, the oils are probably the liquids, right? So solids are the fats and the liquids are the oils. And so, uh, finally, um, <coughs> what uh, type of organism do these tend to come from? One tends to be a plant product, one tends to be an animal product, which is which? And, uh, well, let's see, I think these tend to be which one? Think animal? Yeah, these tend to be an animal product. These tend to be a plant product. Your vegetable oils, so here's bacon fat, would be up here. Vegetable oils down here tend to be a plant product. And if you have to major as far as your diet and one or the other in terms of health and so forth, uh, which is the healthier bunch to major in? Saturated or unsaturated lipids? Well, it's unsaturated, of course. All right, very fine. Uh, that concludes this discussion.